It's not only crap. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, May 15th, and I'm your host, JP Mestanza, with the news you need to know. Thailand's Mother's Day, which is the Queen's birthday, is now in June, and the news comes as word of an official visit from Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirindon, who will come to Phuket next week. Her Royal Highness will visit Phuket Friday next week on May 24th, during which she will formally dedicate a new building at the Sri Nagarinda, the Princess Mother School, Phuket. Meanwhile, the cabinet is declaring that June 3rd will be a national holiday to celebrate the birthday of Her Majesty the Queen Sutida. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. The bar tout that allegedly fatally stabbed another bar tout on Monday evening is now behind bars himself after police coordinated with their counterparts in the neighboring province of Penya to arrest him. Patong Police Chief Colonel Anotai Jin Bambani revealed that the fatal stabbing of Patong's bustling tourism street of bars and nightclubs was the final episode of a long ongoing spat between the two bar touts, culminating in the stabbing shortly before 10 p.m. on Monday, in which Pakom Pong Sida was seen pulling out a knife and allegedly stabbed Anuchet Chanwichit once in the abdomen. Anuchet died two hours later at Patong Hospital. CCTV footage and witness statements revealed that the suspect was headed towards Panya province, so Patong police coordinated with police in that province, which led to the capture and arrest of the suspect, but not before he threw away the knife in the sea off the Saracen Bridge. He's now being charged with murder. Families of several first-time offenders and those serving, quote, small case sentences, they lined up Phuket Provincial Prison this morning waiting for the over 200 prisoners to be released after receiving a royal pardon from His Majesty the King in honor of his own royal coronation earlier last week. 216 inmates, including 177 men and 39 women, they walked free from the cells of Phuket Prison this morning in a small ceremony presided by Vice Governor Na Nong Kai, and reports say that all 216 now former inmates were all serving their first jail sentences for small cases, none of whom served time for drugs or serious cases. Only one foreigner was among them, a Turkish man, and he had been living in Phuket long after his visa had expired. He's now being handed over to Phuket at City Police Station. The Vice Governor made a small speech this morning during the release ceremony in which he stated that construction on a new, bigger prison in Phuket Sri Sudorn area is about 70% complete and will hold four to 5,000 prisoners when done with an aim to receive prisoners who are sentenced up to 30 years or more. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Show will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. After trying to smuggle 13 illegal Myanmar workers into Malaysia on a mail truck, a Thailand post driver and his accomplice are now behind bars. The mail truck was stopped in Songkla province at about 12.30 a.m. yesterday morning, according to reports, and it all happened after one human trafficker who had previously been arrested, he told police that they started using mail trucks to transport illegal migrants since they were less noticeable to police. The truck driver and his accomplice both confessed to having done the deed several times, picking up migrants that illegally crossed the bo Myanmar border into Kanchanaburi province. The men also confessed that they would be paid 1,500 baht per person each time. All 13 illegal migrants were charged with illegal entry and are being detained at a local Songkla police station along with the driver and his accomplice, who will both face different charges, but police say they will extend their investigation into human trafficking, and even Thai Post has released a statement saying they are launching an internal investigation themselves to make sure mail trucks are not being used illegally. Phuket's Rawai area at the southern end of the island has recorded the fastest growth in Airbnb guest arrivals than anywhere else in Thailand, according to an Airbnb release issued last week. According to new data released from an Airbnb survey carried out last year, the number of Airbnb guest arrivals visiting off-the-beaten-path destinations in Thailand grew by 53% year-on-year, and some areas have the fastest growth, including Rawai at 92%, followed by Chiang Rai at 90%, and then Hat Yai. 
In related travel news, Thailand's waiver of the visa on arrival fees, which began last November and ends on November 1st of this year, it's given a big boost to India with, arrival from, with arrivals from the subcontinent growing by 25% since the visa fees were waived for 21 countries, one of them being India. Last year, tourism receipts from the Indian market totaled 66 billion baht, a 16% increase from the year before. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thanks for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Visit us in Patong or Inc. in Asia.com.